Hello everybody, good afternoon, good morning, hello, how are you doing, good day. I was at work today and I had the pleasure of being able to watch Logan Paul, KSI, Tommy Fury and Dylan Dennis press conference. Now holy shit balls bags, did things kick off unsurprisingly. A room full of gypsies and American, two crazy people, whatever you want to call it. YouTube boxing is a joke, even John Fury had had enough. If you've not seen it, spoiler alert, he basically said, fuck this, this is shit, I've had enough, I'm kicking off, I'm throwing tables at people. One thing you do not do is fuck with a gypsy never mind king gypsy's dad you know what i mean i wanted just to play some of the highlights for you it's absolutely obscene you will not believe some of the stuff they talk about it's cringy it's embarrassing it makes you want to take out your own eyeballs and shove them in the bin so you never have to see and then chop off your ears god damn lord of mercy this shit was bad real bad and real 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 bad to listen to king kong ding dong did not enjoy it so look yeah literally i want dylan Dan, uh, daniel uh, blah, 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 blah. i want dylan to win because because I, I think the stuff he's been doing on Twitter is fucking amazing. Uh, ruining Logan and his girlfriend's relationship. It's absolutely hilarious. KSI was just cringy as always. Dylan's not got the best chit chat, but, you know, he, he said some funny things. Tommy Fury. Tommy's talk is as dead as if he loses this fight against KSI. Because, my God, is Big Daddy John going to disown this bit? I'm nervous for him. His life is over. If he loses this fight, it's done. Dylan the same, he's talked so much smack Logan's probably really riled up Logan and KSI, they don't have really anything to lose These two do And pressure, fear, that has effects That gets in your mind and affects your performance We all know it ba -ba 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 -ba. Play it bitch A great start, they're sponsored by Prime But he wasn't fucking having it, he threw him And he's had enough already, he's like Prime Not sponsoring my fight, you got these girls On the end, I'm not sure if you've seen, holding A bottle of Prime, just imagine if you Were a father, a loving man, you've raised These women to be strong, independent And the next thing you know, she's 25 Holding a bottle of blue drink that is Sold for two quid in a supermarket Because these YouTubers asked her to stand there I Hope she's got some stamina on her You threw, you threw a couple of Prime bottles away yeah, there Why are you tossing Prime. these Prime bottles? Like you have to admit, it's not it's not terrible, but it's not a great drink. I'm not going to go like, oh my god. Prime is the best drink ever made since Coca-Cola when I was in year six. Like, when I was six years old, because it's just not true. Kids are on a hype train, baby. It's a good hat. It's a good hat, right? It's a nice hat. I'm going to wear that when I knock on my conscience, so. If you don't know what the hat means, it's for when he filmed a dead person in the suicide forest. And funnily enough, we've kind of all just forgotten about that. I'm not sure why. I, I mean, Logan Paul's a twat. He's a bad person. He's not someone nice. And now arrives the only real boxer in the building, Tommy Fury, brother of Tyson Fury, you might recognise him, and obviously father John Fury, the nutter, but also a great man. How are you, my man? I am very well. I'd like to say a massive thank you for everybody coming out today. Love to see you all. Hope everyone's well. Fucking hell, mate. This is... Thank you for everyone coming out. I hope you're well. Fuck off, Tommy, mate. Say some nada. Say some grit. And let's get something straight. Logan Paul is on all the gear. All right, he is on some trend. He is on some test or something. Cause me sideways. I see Dylan got props. Hey, bro, that's creative. You come like up with that, that one, yourself. Right? Huh? Was that was that was that the surprise? That you no, you idiot. He stole it from you when you wore it when you filmed a dead body. He stole it from you. Do you not remember? That's how little it means to him when he filmed that dead person and got exposed and his career was ruined for that of five minutes. And there's another one holding a bottle of prime in the back. Oh yeah, if you didn't see Dylan Dallas got choked in a club while he was probably pissed on loads of gear and Logan feels it's important to tell the world this again. Just look how desperate he is to try get this on show. His life, his wife, his entire marriage has been ruined and the only thing he can do is print out an A3 piece of paper of him getting choked out by a bouncer when he was off his head. I mean, it's just embarrassing, isn't it? This whole facade, this whole boxing thing is just embarrassing to watch, be a part of. If they want to give me an invite, I'll take any one of them, mate. Roids or not. But seriously, this is just, in terms of the game of boxing, this is just ruining it and making it a laughing stock. You have to make that dude never takes that headband off. I feel like I feel like this is like a tag team match here. I feel like KSI and Logan Paul versus Tommy Fury 
And Dylan Dennis, who yeah, knows? Yeah, two real fighters against two fake fighters. Real I mean, it's kind of true. Two people who are actual fighters. He's a grappler. Tommy Fury's obviously a boxer. These two are just celebrities who screened on YouTube, like I'm doing, and got boxing out of it for some reason. Dildodennis.com right now. You can find out how many days it's been since he last fought. Okay, so fight me that right now, The answer is 1,530. Yeah, great. You know, I'll break your foot in half. What are you talking You're gonna about? You're going to break my toe? Yeah. <laughs> Talk in the chat, the back chat from both sides is just dead. It's embarrassing to hear. It's embarrassing to be a part of. I mean, imagine actually doing this and going, yeah, this was real good. It's not going to happen because these guys are just internet money whores. That's the only reason they do this shit. They don't give a fuck. They don't care. Especially the two on the left. They're just here for more money and stick prime on everyone's desk. It's mental. Oh, I'm waiting. What? I'm waiting. Okay. Okay. Well, you just lost your prop. John Fury's there, giggling to himself. Yeah, what has what boxing become? We're a real man. I'm the Gypsy King. Father, I'm one of the best. Fuck off, you big dosser. Put it on then. Put it on then. He doesn't dare put it on though, does he? He doesn't dare put it on. This is going to be the ele an electrifying night. Ladies and gentlemen, October 14th is going to be crazy. He's not wrong. Even I'm excited for this shit just to see what the hell happens. I mean, I just don't know where it's going to go. What is going to happen? Who's going to win? Who what's going to happen after? This is truly one of the most, well, I use exciting very loosely, but I am truly very intrigued to see what goes on. <laughs> You're going to look at me differently. <laughs> What the fuck was that? Tommy Fury has no personality. He's like talking to a brick wall, and every time it, you know you tap it or you you do something, you interact with it. It makes a little heckler. Like, he he he. Oh, ha, he, oh, ha, Shut up, dude. He's so excited about that win, Tommy. Def defend your Logan, bro. Why are you? Fucking hell, Dylan's off his head. Defend your Logan, brother. <laughs> This dude's on so many drugs, it's unbelievable. He can't even get his words out. I'm going to beat your business partner, and then I'll come to you. I'm going to beat your business partner, and then come to you. What the hell is he on about? You? I thought you were done with this YouTube fiasco. I'm not going to play this all, because they, honestly, they just keep talking. Hey, I'm going to beat you, I'm going to beat you, hey, I'm going to cut your head in. Like, even, look at John Fury's face. He's fuming that he got dragged to this. We'll see. Can we stop this shite? <laughs> this is getting me down. Has he got some extra strong anodin from these kids? You know, let's talk some proper boxing and fighting. Forget the bull crap. Let's talk seriously now. There's two men there going to fight. What's your best plan of action? I, I like you, John Fury. That's I respect you. That's what I'm you. saying about. Let's yeah, talk like some you, proper Fury. stuff. People's coming here today to hear fighting talk. Let's hear it. It's not kindergarten stuff. It's serious business. Men's going to get put to sleep. Men's going to get put to sleep. He's not wrong. Shut the fuck up and start talking boxing. So let's talk about how it's going to happen. For God's sake. I mean, he's, he's just a legend, isn't he? He's so true and honest. You're, you'll be the one running when you feel my power. I'm gonna, hey, what do you think about my power then? I'm gonna pull you over. Weak! What when you. John Fury's just there laughing, pissing himself. Oh, how many times have you <laughs> Look at him! You knocked out an you old man with your elbow. Bro, you don't knock you yeah, you know what I mean? In case I has no room to stand on, he elbowed his last guy and knocked him out and, like, cheated. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be scared if I was Tommy Fury. You've trained your whole life. You re you've got the gypsy blood in you. Let's have an arm wrestle now between you and him. Oh, He'll arm wrestle God, you, man. for start off. See? <laughs> Let's have an arm wrestle! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck the fight, fight. Put that aside. Let's have an arm wrestle. Let's just get, to, I let's get the ball rolling. I, let's have an arm wrestling I, competition now, then. Uh, it wouldn't be fair. I'm not, let's I'll, have an arm I'll wrestling slap competition. I'll slap him if I get too close. Middle way. Mind the He's right. middle. <laughs> I'd slap him if I got too close. Like, it's just embarrassing. KSI went on a, a, an expedition. I'm not sure if you remember. He disappeared for a year or something like that. And he said he found himself. He said he became a good person. Ever since he's come back, he's become an even more CUNT than I can fucking imagine. He is a prick to listen to. Anyone who falls for his BS is deluded and off their nut. They clearly hit a little crack pipe in the back every time at break time and they come back and pretend it's fucking good. Pretend it's good because it just ain't. It's dog shit. Right, no, that coffee we're 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 fucking hell, get the big black bloke in between them. Fucking hell, look at the size of that guy. He gets picked up like a kid. And then you've got Dylan trying to... How's that coffee to the face, KSI? Because I'm not sure if you know, he basically floored him and smashed his face in with coffee. And he's probably the only thing he can say all right. Bro, I'm different. If you're getting knocked I'm out. different, bro. I am the one that can see John Cena. <laughs> what? What the fuck is he on about? This guy, he's deluded. Drinking all this prime has sent some chemicals to his brain. Don't drink it, because this is what you'll turn out to be. You'll end up like KSI Logan Paul, talking squaffle, trying to fight two professional fighters, and you might 
might win if you pay the bloody referees a f shit ton of money, but it's not gonna happen. Yeah, I'm gonna show up, don't worry. Just hey, like, just like up, Nina showed up to every guy's house. Hey, you've been hey. at. <laughs> <laughs> Nina thrown in there because she shagged Leonardo DiCaprio and everyone under the sun. You, you, you fucking pussy. Right. Guys, guys, wait, wait. Look at this nuts. It's absolutely ludicrous. He threw a bottle of me. I'm going to cave his head in. I'm going to cave his fucking head in. Come back here, mate. Come back to me. I'll fucking smoke you. I'll fucking smoke you, lad. Okay, so that's not from Liverpool, so apologies. Well, y'all, can we get a zoom in on the cake? Please, I spent so much money on this cake, I gave him a fucking vagina instead of a penis, but that was a miscommunication. It's alright. Okay, uh -huh. Sai, just grow up, mate. You've got kids watching you, people watching you, who look up to you. You don't gotta take that shit out on me because my brother hooked up with your ex. At least I got rid of this slut, you're marrying one. Oh my god, he's, he's, he's done it! He's ended him! How do you recover? You can't recover. This is done. You've lost Logan Paul. Even the crowd has been like, holy shit. Again, he's just ruining you, Logan. Sit down, you have no nothing to stand on. You're falling through the ground. Don't, don't make me release the picture and then you see what happens. But yeah, if you don't know, apparently Dylan Dennis has sort of like the Thanos of pictures. Once he shows this, the whole universe disappears. Like, that's how big this... Even Andrew Tate said this picture would ruin him. Why is he finding God? Thank you. Fight fucking people's personal bollocks. No, We're fighting, men. My son. I'll Go fight on. him now, and I'll fight anyone in the building. No. He is off his noodle. I'm not sure what the you know the air does to you being a gypsy, but he's off his noodle. John, John, oh, thank you, John. Kids. I'm a machine. <laughs> Me, and can anybody question who I am here? If I say, come on, come and get it done. You think KSI wants to fight Big John Fury? I think not, mate. He's even backed off himself. John Fury's just lost his marbles. He's gone crazy. He's kicked the chairs. He's gone nuts. <laughs> Logan Paul's like, yeah, yeah, dude, this is sick. Dylan Dennis is about to throw a chair at them. <laughs> KSI had enough and he's gone home. Fair enough. You'll get arrested, don't do it, mate. <laughs> Just to end it there. I mean, what's he doing thrust in the air? I mean, as you can see, this is just a joke. All of this is a joke. Everyone involved is just doing it for the money and the fame. This ruins boxing. It makes it look like a fake sport, an embarrassing sport. You've got these two inbred idiots thinking they're all big and inspirations and, you know, look at me, look what I've come to. What you've come to is a twat, mate. You're a dick. Dylan Dennis, I have some respect for because he's an actual fighter. KSI trying to get involved like he's some big man. You hide your forehead every day, mate. You're nothing. Tommy Fury is... Dodgier than Dodge, mate. Yeah, he might be married to Molly May now or whatever, but his family would chef you in the night and not have a problem with it. This family goes back. Look at John Fury, yes. You know what I mean? This family is serious. You think you're big and all the pressure is on Tommy. If he loses, it's done for him. He's over. Oh, God. Like I said, this is just an embarrassment to the sport. It's nothing good. And I appreciate John Fury ending it early for us by causing a scene because I couldn't take any more of this. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like, comment. Please let me know what you think. I think this is obviously an expedition which is just embarrassing at this stage. Get it over with. Fight tomorrow. Look after yourself, guys, and fuck me.